Welcome to the show. Yes, you're on. Welcome. Thanks. Thanks for having me. I am so happy to have you on. Um, wow. It's a big difference between uh, conceptual art and uh, the art that you do. You do traditional oil. That's um, oil, right? A little, little mixed media. A little, little, very little oil. I'm mostly acrylic. Acrylic. And I, and I use uh, water wash crayons and my hands. And, and Michael is a... Uh, figurative, expressive painter. You know, it, it's it, representation. It's, it's sort of drama scapes. I, I, you know, there's landscapes, and I do drama. I do do them, but every painting pretty much has a story, um, and it's it's nice to get them out, and people see architecture in it, and they see you know organic in it, and you know, I've been accused of having a lot of styles. There was a little little bit of uh, Hopper. I was getting mm-hmm. some uh, Dennis Hopper. Not Dennis Hopper. Um, what's his name? The Hopper guy. Yeah, and it's just a lot of buildings, cafes. And uh, buildings and uh, with a lot of uh, really use of, great use of space. Bright colors. Yes. You like bright Santa colors. Because you live you in know. Santa Cruz. Yeah, kind of. I, yeah, I do like bright colors. And I never see that until... Um, until I like the other day when you were over, all the paintings are pretty pretty brilliant in colors. They're very bright. In fact, I was yeah. saying that there was a little bit of a Maxfield Parish to them because there was so much light coming out from them, especially your skies and your clouds and and um, just a, just a em, emanating lightness. And the reason I was over at your house is because you are an open studio artist. Yes. And we had Ann Osterman on last week and James Oshbacher and mm-hmm. uh, Mick, Mickey Singer, uh, who are also in the open studios. Uh, but this is your first. Right, exactly. And so last weekend was, uh, because you're on the North County side, on mm-hmm. the West side, you uh, had your first. Right, first weekend. Next uh Next go around is the nineteenth, twentieth. That's the third weekend. The October. third weekend is the encore weekend. Yeah. This weekend in particular is the South County. So everything uh, south of the yacht harbor or the harbor. Yeah, I don't know if it's a yacht harbor, but the harbor. Um, in fact, James Oshbooker, because he's on that side, the mm-hmm. east side, he will be uh, this coming weekend, Saturday and Sunday from eleven to five p.m. Good. Amazing work. Amazing James. work. He's a uh, folk fantasy yeah uh, <laughs> you know i think i lost i'm losing my voice from the, so much talking this <laughs> this weekend yeah so you had a great turnout michael didn't yeah, you i i did it, it you know it's um it's it was it's my first time everybody you know i know a lot of people everybody's done it you know 100 years i think at least 25 years and it's the first really the first time i've been able to do that um and yeah, I was good. It, I was honored. You know, I, I thought, well, you know, the least that can happen is I can show. But, you know, I also sold. Which yeah, is, yeah, which is nice. Yeah, your your work is beautiful. What's your number? Uh, number seventy one. Seventy one on do four. Yes. Um, so I'm hoping Encore Weekend is going to be cool because you know, it's the last time. I'm. I suppose I just do this next year. I don't know, but it's the last time you can come and see my work. I got some deals. I, I'm willing to make some deals. So. <laughs> <laughs> you know. And you have uh, quite a few paintings. I have less paintings now, but I have quite a few paintings. You know, and I kept. I you know, I mean, I love to paint, so I'm always painting. Um, and I kept thinking, I don't have enough paintings. <laughs> So then when I spread them all out in the yard, I went, I have a lot of paintings. And the first person that walked in goes, wow, you have a lot of paintings. So then I kind of, I was able to sleep better that night. (laughs) And uh, part of your uh, exhibition Mm -hmm. shows a process of your paintings. And so I'd like to try to just describe to our our audience uh, what Michael Villarreal's paintings look like you have uh, some of them are different sizes you don't have like one type of uh, you know three by four mm-hmm. you use uh, many different size canvases I do and but they're fairly big medium size 
most of, well, I guess you had a few small ones. Um, a lot of them have uh, bodies mm -hmm. and faces in them. Um, in fact, you were saying that that's kind of where you're looking to do more uh, portrait type things. Is that right? Um, gosh, I, I had some paintings of my, I have a six year old daughter and a 25 year old daughter, but I, I did do some paintings um, of my daughter in them. Um, that you know, I I, do, I I have to say most of my paintings are personal, and um, once in a while I'll spring something out, um, like locally. Yeah. Every time I every time I do something local, it seems to sell fast. So sure, I'm sure next year I'll I'll have a series of something that based on what people really liked. But it seems like everybody liked everything. Yeah, and but you I work a lot on the bigger pieces are on wood and I've been kind of experimenting with wood like the uh, the banyan tree I I I thought well you know it's a full circle I bought this plywood that was I'm not sure what the wood is maybe a little pine and I thought by doing um, a tree on a wooden board that was some sort of irony there yeah <laughs> irony and recycled <laughs> art or something but yeah it's it's interesting and so one of the paintings that you have that is in process mm -hmm. is the painting of, was it an open studio guest that came? It was, and a good friend of mine, Mr. Um, shout out to Mr. Schmidt, who's he, he and his wife are in Carmel having a good time. Um, he came and I thought, well, you know, I, I, I'm going to do wood this weekend and canvas next weekend. So this weekend I started, um, you know, washing it and I didn't quite get into it as much because I wanted to talk to people and my jaw actually hurts <laughs> <laughs> you know uh, massage you know jaw it's funny because I you know I see Anne Anne Osterman I know she, she's been in here last and week I, the yeah director I think I know she's City. been doing this a long time and uh, you know she saw her at the event I know she coordinates stuff for months and maybe years and I think gosh you know it's a lot of work to do two days you yeah. know so I pity the people who have to do it for <laughs> months and months but, but I learned I learned why you know my legs were tired I'm running around talking to people <laughs> so I really tried to get that painting on the board I've got my sketches now I talk, took some shots to get the right light and I'll probably be playing with that painting in the next few days so the painting of Mr. Schmidt mm -hmm. is on wood yes it is I didn't, it I is didn't realize wood. that yeah. and so what the uh people that came to your you know the people that come mm -hmm. to your open studio um what they'll see is a outline of a face a, a, a head mm -hmm. and upper body and you're uh making in in kind of large gestures the the features of the face mm -hmm. in a dark green color or is it actually, actually I, I'm, you know I always chest the, the wood especially the wood because it's it's sort of unforgiving it has um, the pores on yeah it, it just just sucks, sucks the paint up so yeah. in, you end up with this powder so and then I just w hit it with my base I, in, in that case I thought because of the light in the morning I, I go on with a very red background and I sprayed a lot let it run um, I kind of like it being sort of Hacky and drippy, and you know, I like I like that. And then, I, then I sort of carve out of, you know, I've, I've always admired the whole. You know, I went went to college and school and art academy of arts in San Francisco, and I, I've always been a, a lover of the chiaroscuro era, where you know the, you, you carve out of the darkness, and yeah, I, yeah. I pretty much carve out of dark colors. Yeah. You know, a lot of times when people really look at my painting, they see layers and they go, well. How, you know, what's your thought on that? You know, and I tell them, and they, they go, well, that's, that, that seems backwards or something you know, to, to, to paint the back dark and then come out of that's That's how I paint. So. But it works because it brings works, out works the light, me, yeah. because the light is the last kind of the, the top layer right. of your painting would be the light colors would you right. say yeah yeah it is. and this Definitely. is the same process that Titian did in <coughs> venice in the uh 1400s mm -hmm. late 1400s he would do the background in a dark burgundy red mm -hmm. and then layer on top from there and then you get the most light filled mm -hmm. paintings it, it's amazing um it you, yeah it creates a 
it creates a luminous sort of a luminosity in my paintings. I, I can see that, and and I could, I look and I th I think you know knowing when to stop is really a big deal for me because I think well I could just keep going on this right. one. You know? Well, but so <laughs> I do I do yeah I do stop and sometimes I look at it and I think God, I really stopped short on that but you know I'm trying to create some sort of light color energy and 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 some emotion I suppose you know most certainly lots um, of people see that yeah and so you also painted um, I'm seeing in my mind's eye some paintings of fall leaves mm -hmm. of colors um, you're originally from the uh, Central Valley is that right well nor Northern California I grew up um, in the East Bay um, a military father and then I went to school in this in San Francisco but then I s skipped out and headed up to Chico California and uh, discovered the fall and and real saturation of color you know. and so you have quite a few paintings of, I do. of leaves yes and uh, yeah but it's a bit it's a you know I used to I used to say that um, nature was as abstract as uh, as anything you'd want you know looking just I, I paint the ground I paint the leaves I paint the reflection I have a, most of those paintings I think you're talking about are reflections from the water so oh. there's a certain wiggleness to it yeah 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 and it, it does verge on the abstract mm -hmm. it's be going in that um, but in an expressive kind of way yeah I guess uh, I guess I would be in <laughs> abstract expressionist I think what you told me if I may share your secret mm -hmm. Michael Villarreal yeah. is that one day when you have all the money you need that is where you'd be going I, yeah because I think when I look at the style that I enjoy the most I think that seems to be where I'm headed right you know but um, it's it's uh, the market kind of drives the 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 kid figures. It and, does right now, yes. And then uh, <laughs> actually, I think you have some uh, houses, uh, pictures of houses mm -hmm. that are very kind of reminiscent of Santa Cruz. Uh, I was thinking it was on the the west side, but you were actually you're saying it was on the west side, but up on the hill. Yeah. Um, the ar architectural. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah architecturally yeah, speaking, it's and it's on and, the side. And there's an immediate attraction to that because it's familiar. Mm -hmm. And to have, um, you know, a piece of, of where you live with you mm -hmm. in your in your house, I think, is really uh, well, you attractive. Know, I think that's what you were, were you calling that sort of an Ed, Edward Hopperish. Yes. Yeah, you know, I you know I grew up. I couldn't wait to get out of suburbia, so I kind of grew up with those kind of houses that I paint. And there's just something about. I, I notice when I paint them, they become architectural and very sort of structured. There's there's a sort well, of there's space. a sort of a looking back into that and stuff that I I couldn't wait to get away from. I think just suburban thing, <laughs> you know. So when I look back into it, you know, my girlfriend and I have a house that's kind of we you know you, you were there it's a it's spread out and it's not quite suburbia we've got a little bit of air around us and when i look back into those suburban settings i want to paint them you know like when i the one in sacramento which is where i was born um but there's something about the, it that it's, it's it's kind of there's a certain sadness in it is there a nostalgia <laughs> in it yes yeah there is there's a nostalgia Michael Villarreal right. is here right. talking about his painting. He is a mixed media uh, representational artist who is a part of Open Studio. You're number 71, Michael? Number 71, yeah. Number 71. This is his first Open Studios, folks, um, and uh, has now found out just how much incredible work it takes to, <laughs> to yeah. make it. And then once Absolutely. you have it up, to have to talk to all the visitors. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which is yeah, a great I met problem. a lot of great people too. Yeah, I met a lot of nice people. And so you'll be able to see Michael Villarreal's work on the nineteenth and twentieth, which yeah. is the encore weekend of this year's Santa Cruz Open Art Studio Art Tour. This year is the twenty eighth year, folks, and this event is put on by the Art Council of Santa Cruz. 
which has been around for 38 years and is directed by Ann Osterman, who's been doing it for 10 years. Wow. Yeah. It's a long time. It is. And uh, we're, we're lucky, we're, we're the beneficiaries of, of this amazing event and, um, and this, uh, this event that brings out people into the community. We've lived near each other <laughs> for a long time. And, and we didn't know it, <laughs> I, had, I don't think. It wasn't until Open Studios wow. <laughs> that I had to look. <laughs> thank, <laughs> thank you, Yvonne. Yeah. 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 Um, and so it really is a community building event. And then you have people coming up from Carmel, like your friends. Yeah. Um, people are coming in from out of town to enjoy our artists. Um, and again, this weekend is the South County. So you're going to want to go on the 12th and 13th. Um, you can buy the calendar that gives you the map and gives you um, a real nice way of being able to kind of make your make your adventure at all different places around Santa Cruz. I'm sure you can get it at the bookshop Santa Cruz, mm -hmm. Logos. You can certainly go to the tannery and go to Art Council yourself and get it there. Right. Um, Michael Villarreal, so you have been working as a, as a designer? I, you know, I've been an art director for about 26 years. I, I actually was, boy, so many things I've art directed with Shakespeare Santa Cruz. I was the art director at Good Times. So that's a local publication. Um, and, and the student guide, I noticed I was out there looking at it. and um, I, I've been I've art directed in many places and done a lot of shows and all over the country. And um, I have stories, but I am... I also am a musician. Next time, um, maybe I'll come back, bring my guitar, and do some songs. Of but I'm course. transitioning from music right now to my art. I really want people to see my painting and, you know. Yeah, you're, it's they're a big wonderful. Deal. It's wonderful. And you have a beautiful backyard that's very Thank nice you. for a deck and for people to come and mm -hmm. just sit and relax. It was, it was a really lovely time. And yeah. I thank you for that. So, Michael Villarreal, do you have, I know you have a Facebook page, um, and it's the paintings of Michael Villa. Yeah. Because you, as a musician, are known as Michael Villa. Yeah, because it just it was easier. People, people go, oh, well, you know, how do I pronounce your name? And. You know, boy, if you didn't get that enough in grammar school, you know, because you're the end of the alphabet, and then it's like Villa, da, da, but it's Via Real. It's a, you know, a very, my father's from Texas, my mother's from Mexico, and um, his family was from Spain. So it's it's a really beautiful name. And it's a great name for a painter, you know. So And Michael Villa, I think, works really well when I'm playing music. Via Real. There's my story. And but there's more to your story, Michael Villarreal. There is. Villarreal. You okay. come from artists. I do. I that come is from your a background. Big of artists, and right. was it your father who was a, a brilliant painter that you were telling me about? No. My, well, my uncle, my father's brother, okay. Victor Villarreal. People know him, I think, in in San Francisco. I know there's a lot of art of his. I know Herb Kane used to mention him in paper. He's done a lot of work in Emeryville and Berkeley. He's done a lot of murals. Um, he passed away. He was an AIDS um, pass away, or in '96 he passed away. And he was a Brilliant. great influence in your life. Yeah, he was. You know, he's um, he used to live with our family, and um, I was already doing art. I mean, I, I probably was doing art since, gosh, maybe ten years old or something. Your in whole school. life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I painted my way out of out of school. Into school? No, really, no, really. I make people go, "Hey, could you draw Frankenstein or something?" I'd be like, hacking away at this old drawing. You know, I'm no. I mean, I think, I think that art saved me from where I came from, which I'm not going to elaborate on that. But it really saved me in a lot of ways. Got me scholarships, got me into colleges, and and I was able to explore. And no. so now you're putting aside your directing, your design directing. I, I haven't. I kind of backed off on that. I do. I, I do some. Uh, I've done a lot of startup for people. Um, um, Jose at El, El Palomar restaurant, all of his startup and Jalisco. I've done. I've worked with a lot. Now that I think about, it, I think I've worked with a lot of the Latino communities and in, in with graphics. I'm. Gonna, you know, I, I think I'm a brilliant designer because I. Um, also have a lot of marketing skills. I think you're... And I talk a lot. Yeah. <laughs> In fact, there was a couple designs that I was wishing you'd put on a shirt 
because my really? ha- my son would love hmm. to wear some of your skulls. You had quite a few. Oh yeah, yeah, that was big. Wasn't it? <laughs> uh, <laughs> that was big. Yeah, well, that's a, those are long stories. Um, but yeah, that, I think that's that's one of the things I'm gonna I think crank up a little bit. It would be cool T-shirts. Oh yeah, or, there's, or fabric, uh, there's the, di- the the opportunities for that design are endless. Yeah, yeah, from skateboards to everything. Yeah, yeah. I I think I'll show that more but it's it become you know i'm an illustrator i illustrate as well but i don't know if you put anything in my hand i'll I'll draw something so right on you know (laughs) okay (laughs) folks this has been another artist on art uh for october 9th 2013 i've had the wonderful pleasure of speaking with michael villarreal uh, Michael is a local artist, art director, painter, musician, and we met during the Open Studio Art Tour, and I'm so glad that you were able to come on today. Yeah, it was great. Number 71, folks. Uh, he'll be having his home open again, his studio, on the 19th and 20th of October. Um, all four days, uh, this coming weekend and the next weekend, the studios are open from 11 to 5 p.m. Yeah, and just uh, just come by, you know. I mean, it would be nice. I, you know, I love people to buy things, but it's, I love meeting people, so it's just great. I like to meet the art community. Yeah, come and by. I I thank you for your work. Um, I want to say thanks to uh, Vanya Benavides for live tweeting thank this you. Uh, the show today, and I've got a little uh, Cesaria Vora to get out. And stay tuned for Whiskey Town. Thanks for listening, everybody. This is Nada Milkovich signing out.